I mean, from a, te a technology standpoint, I think um, we're going to see mobile computer vision really help with coaching and understanding the biomechanical movements and patterns. You still have the coach telling you, oh, your form is off. That will be replaced by all what I call augmented intelligence. Not augmented reality, but augmented intelligence. Helping the coach to make better decisions around when to pull someone out of the game, when to put them in the game. So understanding the body heat now in real time. That's the holy grail of sport. Can I have that video game meter of energy and understand how to take my athlete out at the right moment? Because there is an apex of performance physically, and that's when the heart kicks in. And so you're gonna see people that understand how to train for the fourth quarter performance. Um, secondly, you're gonna see the emergence of nutraceuticals and how those play a big part in athlete recovery and development. Um, Multi-time release, you know, um, well, temporal component release, uh, you know, vitamins and nutrients. Now they have access to better food. People think that athletes eat well, they eat like crap. Most of the, most of the teams don't invest in the, in the health side of playing. They invest in the fact that they get out there and perform. When we look at the diets and the habits, the fact that someone, I'm not gonna name them, but a person in the NBA continuously gets injured because he only drinks Mountain Dew. It's ridiculous. Your body cannot survive on Mountain Dew alone. But yet this man received a lot of money and he's constantly pulling ACLs and MCLs in his back. Is severely injured because of dehydration. So now that there's better information about the, the core benefits of food and how hydration plays in recovery, athletes can make better choices. Um, and I think the third piece is that you know when they talk about statistics and data, I see a monetization path for athletes now to negotiate the usage of their stats in unique ways. Because as these experiences grow, the most valuable thing they create and generate are, is the data itself. So technically, that's intellectual property for the athlete. And when they start to build that into the way to negotiate their value, like, no, you can't use my stats in a video game without licensing my stats. No, you cannot use XYZ highlight without licensing my highlight and pay me royalties every time it's shown on social media. They're going to get really clever and realize that the intellectual property is their play. Not just their name, not just their logo, but the fact that they can produce something that's valuable, which is data, will be a new monetization path for them. So it's going to be a physical development, it's going to be a dietary development, and it's going to be an overall monetary development for how athletes create value for teams and for the society. Can I, I just add to that too, that as athlete representatives, we know that you know injury prevention, I mean, injury is just, and as, as sports fans, we know this, that when your favorite player goes down, the, team, you know, the season's over. We represent Clayton Kershaw, and he was having an MVP season, and now he's down, and it's just heartbreaking. And so I'm hoping that technology helps with that, and I totally agree with what you said about performance enhancement as well. As, you know, as human beings, we don't have a dashboard. You know, if I wake up feeling crummy, I'm guessing that I have a nightmare, that I eat something bad, am I allergic to something? I have no idea why I feel crummy today. And athletes are not much different, and they have the training staffs and all this, but. Again, the work you guys are doing to help an athlete understand why I'm not feeling well today. Why was I slower today than yesterday? I still think that there will be uh, variance in terms of athletes who use that information and don't. Like we all know now you shouldn't drink Mountain Dew or eat junk food or maybe, you know, there, there's all sorts of substance stuff like that if an athlete, one of my clients I used to represent was Steve Nash and that guy treated his body like a temple. The only reason he overachieved as much as he did is he worked harder than everybody else and he treated his body like a temple. And he would name other clients to me and say like, I won't say names, he'd say if that guy had half my work ethic, he'd be MVP of the league. So there's still that variance, but the guys that utilize the information are gonna to continue to, to get better.